what is up guys welcome back to another video and today we're doing another trip report but today we're not just taking any airline we're taking delta airlines okay guys and it's not just any delta airlines it's delta connections guys delta connections all right so we're going to take a look here at this brand new renovated terminal c here at laguardia international airport but you even consider international i, I guess so because you have air canada and westjet but still um this terminal is basically like 85 percent complete um as we make our way over to our gate 69 um please please don't make those comments in the comment section please um but yeah we're gonna walk through the new section to get to the old section which they have like a temporary walkway in the meantime probably by like december it's gonna be like completely uh gone or something like that hopefully but um yeah you get to see what's left of the old terminal which is actually pretty cool it doesn't look too bad i say terminal b was worse from when we flew through it back in 2016 or 17 2017 yeah but yeah it looks better now from um the last time but yeah let's let's get to our let's get to our little baby plane here at gate 69 though so right here we have our 15 year old Delta Connection CRJ 900 was just delivered back in 2007, which joined Air Northwest Airlink and then later became a part of the Delta Connections fleet. But our aircraft had a bit of trouble as we did have engine issues with the APU startup system, so we had to start the engines at the gate, which is very interesting. It never happened to me before, so let's get it to it. Let's check out the seat. All right, everybody, welcome to our seat 18D, where we have a nice, beautiful sized tray table, and we get an also excellent view of the wing and the engine uh, there. Let's take a look at that. Wow. And then we also have our seat back where we have some nice, welly padded seats, but they don't have adjustable headrests on this older cabin. And uh, we have some decent amount of legroom working with here as long as the safety card the safety card is pretty much uh straightforward we got the front here which is you know looking nice and good and then we got the back and then the mid sides too so yeah pretty much that's pretty much how it looks and yeah now after looking at the receipt and everything now it's time for us to make our way towards runway four <laughs>
after making it to our cruise altitude of 34,000 feet, we do get a meal service where we have some Biscoff cookies, some sun chips, some water, and some Sprite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's also take a look at the bathroom, shall we? Hey, 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 why are you upset? Let's do the review, man. Anyways, we got a nicely clean toilet over here. We got the sink. Okay, nice large mirrors and everything. It's pretty nicely, decently sized for a CRJ. Given that it's a CRJ 900. So, um, yeah, very well done. After making some uh, cruising time in the air, we already made our descent already into Myrtle Beach. Where we'll be making the landing onto runway 36. Now, this approach takes us over the ocean for a little bit, where you get a nice view of that coast of the whole city of Myrtle Beach. It's actually pretty nice at night, but um, yeah, enjoy. our flight attendant kind of welcomes us to myrtle beach um i'd like to thank you guys all for watching today's video hope you guys enjoyed it i do have one little surprise for you guys and that is um checking out the cockpit so yeah that's your little treat for today hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always we'll see you guys in the next one bye